Doesn't work that way. Obviously, the next step is wheel lines. We do the same thing with wheel lines. We can have the same options except the offset. We can't move the wheel line 20 feet sideways. You know, it doesn't work. You have to drag the whole thing sideways. Can't do that. The wheel line's always going to roll. So here, our only option is to be able to put in swing joints. <coughs> then it depends on the diameter of the wheel as to where the swing joint falls. Are we going to be able to put in a 30-foot stagger, or does it have to be a 20-foot stagger? See, if we're using 7-foot wheels, it's three rolls, three rolls of 60 feet. So then all of a sudden, we can go either 20 feet one side or the other of the valve. We can't go 30. We can't go half a roll, because then all the sprinklers are down under the pipe, even if they're on head levelers. Part of the time, they're shooting right up into the pipe. That's not acceptable. So we want to keep the sprinklers up on top, so we have to go with a 20-foot roll segment. So if we're running 7-foot wheels, all of a sudden, we have a little different look. And the most common size are 7-foot wheels. We'll put four valves in here. Okay, the first time you run across the field, <coughs> it'll be in that location. So that would become set one. And it's going to move like this, down, 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 then roll back, and set two, let's put set two up 20 feet, up 20 feet, up 20 feet and up 20 feet. So this thing rolls back to two. Two comes down in its cycle. Then in set three, it comes this direction, 20 feet. Rolls back. After it got down to two, came back. Now, is that a mess? Color-coded, that works pretty good. And so you're staggering every time a 20-foot differential. So you can go from the blue to the red to the black and just keep cycling back that cycle or whatever combination you want to put in there, just as long as you keep the same cycle all the time. And what you're doing is every time across the field, you're getting a little stagger in your pattern, which will give you a little better overall uniformity over a year's worth of watering. You know, if this is an alfalfa field, or if this is turf grass that you're growing for a sod farm, or if this is uh, a potato field or an onion field here in this valley, very common site we have. This would be the ideal way to move that wheel line on that piece of ground if you had seven foot wheels. Now if you have nine foot wheels or five foot wheels, you'd go to the same 30 foot spacing on those. And there are a few nine foot wheels mainly used on asparagus, because asparagus grows so tall in the fern when it, when we let it go to the fern stage that we need really tall wheels to get it through the field. Also for system operation on wheel lines, we do have to be concerned about the maintenance of the motor and the hydraulic system. So we do have a hydraulic system that is somewhat water sensitive. So we have a filter in that hydraulic system that must be maintained because we will get condensation in those internally in that fluid occasionally. And so we have to monitor that filter and change it as needed. Also the dirt that blows around, there's potential contaminants all the time between the water and the dirt for a hydraulic system. You know, just like electrical system, we got the worst world for that hydraulic system to work in for what it would prefer. You know, all of these systems would much rather be 
in a humi humidity controlled, temperature controlled environment? Well, we do just the opposite. We give it huge temperature variation, we give it huge humidity variation and lots of water and dirt to go along with it. And it happens daily. It's not like it's just over a season. Every day we'll have a huge temperature change. A day like today we'll have a 40 degree temperature change outside. That's a huge variation for an operating part that's having to work in as many possible conditions as you possibly could ask it to work in. And so that hydraulic system is getting the, the oil consistency is going to vary according to the temperature. So when you're operating the system, if it's really cold out, that oil is going to be less fluid than when it's really hot out. Therefore, it'll run faster when it's real hot out and it'll run slower when it's cold out. Due to the viscosity of the oil, just the temperature change changes its viscosity.